Hello Power Users, Binia Fukowski here and today we will be looking how to create a SharePoint row in a list directly from Power Apps. So we will, we will create a form, we will connect the data to SharePoint and then we will write and save the data to the uh, specified list. So stay tuned and let's start. Okay, so a uh, prerequisite for this tutorial is uh, the fact that you have already your test list on your any test point uh, on any SharePoint site. As you can see, this is my SharePoint site. Let's copy this. This will this address will be needed later, and I have already the blank list. So let me go to my, my Power Apps. Let let's edit and create a screen with a new edit form. Let's load this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Override. <laughs> I was in the read mode. I don't know why, because I was... Okay, never mind. So let's create a new screen. Cool. Let's call it test add data to SharePoint up. Okay, and here, first of all, first thing, I need to have the data and the connection. So to do this, you need to add the data. Let's find the SharePoint here. And here you need to, to copy this part where you have the site. So we will copy this here, connect, and we choose our lists. Let's I created the test list. Great. So I've already had have the data. So now let's add uh, let's insert a form, an edit form. Okay, so we need to connect our uh, our form to the data source, which is already in our app. You do this in the data source and select test list. Let's clear the attachments. We just need the title. In here, let's create a new button. Mm not inside form. Let's put it inside the data card. Up, up, paste, unlock and add, of course. Let's have it bigger. Go with the button here. We need to, on the select of the button, we want, we want to submit form and form which is our form. Sorry, I've just created one and two already in this uh, in this power up. Cool. So this is already working. And what we want to do is to create a new screen blank. Let's call it screen success screen up. No, you of course can can have the screen as you like. We just write this down so we know that the the success was uh, was indeed uh, part of our journey. Let's have it bigger. Great. Let's go back and here on our form. On success, let's go with navigate screen. Yeah, sorry, too fast screen. Success. Yep. That's why I'm always using the the coding guidelines to to indicate what kind of value I'm looking for. So if I'm working for screen, I just write SCR and then the name. So nothing else will be visible. Okay. 
we have form form already created. Let's go to the sharp point. Let's clear this because I was testing and created a lot of unnecessary data. Hop, hop, hop. Let's save this. Let's play it and let's write test one and boom. And we are done. Let's refresh here. Test one is visible. This is created. So you have the creation of our, our test uh, one new column in our list. If you want to display everything in this list, you can go with the gallery on the other screen. As you can see, I already have my gallery. You can have on the click of the uh, item navigation to your new form and create a, uh, or sorry, to, to create an edit form. So you can edit the parameters here. And this is how you are using your SharePoint connection to create new uh, items to the list. This is the simple solution. One last thing which you need to add also to your, um, to your form is on success when you are navigating to your success screen you need to reset form because if you don't then let's see what happened uh -huh. hop 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 let's see what happened first time it will work but if you will go back to your screen you will see no items to display because this form from new changed its mode to the edit mode so uh, this is why we have no items to display error. So you always need to reset the form on success to the new. Uh, sorry, to, to the form free. And to the, uh, to the default mode to which will be new then. So this is all. So. If you liked, subscribe, like, etc. I have many other content from Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Automate Desktop, SharePoint, at Power Platform at all as a whole. So speaking of Fukowski out, see you.